Hello friends! Let's get right to it. There are two major things I struggle with on this design. The lights and the grill. Polestar has an extremely distinctive grill even though it's a mostly electric brand. I wanted to remove it to clearly signal this is an EV but then decided against it as it would make design harder to identify as a Polestar. Then the lights. I start to redesign with a Polestar 2 as the rear lights made me think of a truck but I was unsure of how to translate the front lights into the beefy muscular truck language. I will talk about more on what I did after this is finished. While I'm drawing I just figured on talking instead of copyright free music. Mute me if you like. So, in my country you need a special sticker on your car when practice driving with someone who has a license. A learner's permit sticker kind of thing. Recently I've been seeing them on more and more outrageous cars. Not just shiny Mercedes, but like Ferrari special. I can't even imagine the pressure these kids must be feeling. Now son, take a right at the next intersection. And remember, if you scratch daddy's car, he will kill you. Dad, stop saying that every time we're about to take a turn. And the surrounding drivers clear the road, because there are two witnesses in the practice car, while most others only have one. So if it crashes into you, you will find out what a Ferrari repair bill and a bankruptcy declaration form looks like. Learn something new every day, they said. When I was practice driving, I drove a piece of crap garbage car that wanted to die. Then me behind the wheel with a kamikaze bandana going, TRY ME YOU BASTARDS! People got out of the way. Fast. Same effect, fraction of the stress and cost. So, it's not cars like Tesla, Mercedes S-Class, or GTS with these stickers that freak me out anymore. That's fine now. A while ago I saw a sticker on a Nissan Skyline, and today a BMW M3. Then I'm thinking, what are you doing in there? Daddy, Daddy, what are we learning today? Well, son, it's called drifting. But what about parallel parking? Never mind that, it's more important. <clears throat> Uh, I'm glad that people in my neighborhood have their priorities straight. And I'm sorry I made a kid like nine years old. It was kind of a necessity because I had trouble doing a teenager that is going through stuff because of puberty boys. Haha, <laughs> this went horribly wrong. It reminds me of the time I tried to make an apple pie with 21 apples, but only seven made it to the pie. We lost a lot of good apples that day. God, it was a mess. So is this. Normally, this is something I would be ashamed to show. The software I'm using to draw keeps crashing and corrupting my file, so just stop now and try to deal with the issue. I want to refine the design more, work on proportions, and make some kind of background, but I just need to stop. So, on what I managed to get done. In my opinion, electric cars aren't quite there yet in comparison to fossil fuels. We need more range and faster recharge, but if you must make an electric truck, it needs to be more aerodynamic to improve fuel efficiency or no one will want it. Which is what I tried to do. You can see I experimented with a flying buttress kind of thing to improve airflow in the rear, rounded off the design and tried to make the surfaces look less vertical compared to common trucks. I try to make it look more truck-like by introducing these bold contrasting lines that also make it look boxier than it is. Well, that's it. It went horribly, but I had fun. I hope you did as well.